Have you ever thought about why you eat food? Well, you see, there's a good reason why. I have a Cheeto here, and yeah, it does taste good, but there's a lot more to it than that. The chemicals that make up food, yes, I said it, chemicals make up the food you eat, have energy packed in them, and you need the chemicals that are in your food in order to live. And the chemical reaction, when you bite into your Cheeto, I'm going to split this in half, when you bite into your Cheeto, the chemical reaction that you do when you eat food is burning. You actually burn it. Combustion is combining the food that you eat, the carbon in the food that you eat, with oxygen. That's why you breathe in oxygen. You breathe in oxygen so that you can burn your food. Now you're probably thinking, do I light my food on fire when I eat it? And my answer is, well, of course not, otherwise you would explode. That's not what's happening. So this Cheeto is combining with oxygen. You can see that it's not very good at burning. In fact, it keeps blowing out. I'm going to come up with a way to combine this Cheeto with lots of oxygen all at once. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to create oxygen, liquid oxygen, from the air using liquid nitrogen. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to combine that liquid oxygen, make sure it's nice and filled in around this, and I'll burn this other one by comparison. See how slow this is going? I'll show you what will happen. And you'll get an appreciation for how much energy is present in the food that you eat when you see the ginormous flame that comes from this. So, first of all, I got a little rig here to create liquid oxygen. And if you've ever reached into the kitchen, into the refrigerator, and pulled out a can of soda or something like that, you'll notice that there'll be little water droplets that form on the outside, and that's called condensation. And condensation is when the air, the water vapor in the air, condenses to form liquid water. So what I'm doing here is I'm forming, I'm using liquid nitrogen to create liquid oxygen. And you're going to, pretty soon there'll be some condensation that happens. If I step over here, it'll work a little better. Pretty soon you should see some liquid dripping from this canister. And it will collect. You can see it's, it, I don't know, you can see the wetness right there. It's starting to get wet right there. That is not water. Water will freeze. Now, if you look carefully, there's liquid coming off of here right now. That is liquid oxygen. So, let's see if I can, eh, that didn't help. See if I back up a little bit, you could probably see it. There's some liquid oxygen dripping from there. And that liquid oxygen is what we're going to use to saturate this Cheeto to see if we can make the Cheeto go crazy. And there, if I put my arm up against her, you can see it licking, licking, uh, dripping. And that dripping is oxygen. Not many people in the world have ever had a chance to actually see oxygen, but that is it. That's liquid oxygen. And you might think that looks just like water. Well, I agree, it does. But if you were to put your hand underneath there, it would be very, very cold, just like liquid nitrogen is. Because oxygen, as you know, is mostly a gas at room temperature. So by lowering the temperature below the, the uh, boiling point of oxygen, we start seeing it form into a liquid. So I'm just going to let this drip for a little bit. In the meantime, let me tell you about the chemicals that are in a Cheeto and most of the food that you eat. We have carbon is one of the atoms you'll find in there, oxygen and hydrogen. That makes up most of what we call the carbohydrates. Those are the sugars and other things that your body uses for energy. And they're connected together by things called uh, chemical bonds. And the bonds connect the hydrogen and the oxygen and the carbon together. And in those bonds, that's where the energy is stored. And your body has a way of breaking those bonds and extracting the energy. Let me tell you a little bit more about burning them. So this is what your body does, and it will help you understand your body a little bit more and why it does what it does in order for you to live. 
So, first of all, I mentioned before, burning is simply adding oxygen to carbon chemically. So it's a chemical reaction between oxygen, see if I can light this again, between oxygen, yeah, gee, many crickets, temperamental. So it's between, it's a chemical reaction between the oxygen and the carbon. It's not going to burn very well right now. It's smoldering. So, so that chemical reaction generates carbon dioxide and water, believe it or not. So yes, fire creates water. Who would have thunk? But it does. So I'm going to clear this up a little bit here. Maybe it's just got too much charred pieces to it. So anyway, as this is burning, it's using oxygen, and then it's generating carbon dioxide. Think about it. You breathe in oxygen. That's going to burn my fingers pretty soon if I'm not careful. You breathe in oxygen, and you breathe out carbon dioxide. You're burning your food. You're using the oxygen that you breathe in to burn food, and one of the products that your body doesn't want anymore is carbon dioxide, and that you exhale out. And so, yes, it's just like burning, and it generates the same kinds of, of uh, I'm just trying to see how we're doing here, it generates the same products. So this is probably enough, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Okay. Okay. So what I need to do so that you can see everything is I need to make some adjustments here. And I'm going to raise up, I have the Cheeto and I'm setting it down on this container here. And I'm going to raise up my iPad so we can see the whole thing better. So here we go. There it is. Now, so I got my Cheeto right there and I got the liquid oxygen right here. And so I'm going to drop this Cheeto right in the liquid oxygen, and it's kind of freezing it. I got a little thing called a crucible tongs here, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it gets a good heavy dose of oxygen. And so by, by doing that, it's getting a lot of oxygen. I'm going to put it here. You can see the oxygen dripping. And then to, for just good measure, I'm going to add more oxygen to this, and then I'm going to light it. So watch what happens. It's kind of scary. That is a Cheeto being burned. And your body does this pretty regularly. And so there's not much left. You can see it's just toward the end. Most of it's gone, in fact. And just a little bit's hanging on. So there you have it. The energy in a Cheeto. It's a lot, and you eat them by the handful.